Okay, so before I can even begin to start programming this, we need to work out how we're going to be able to store each item and the quantity that's been added inside session variables. Now, you can remember that earlier inside cart.php, I created my session start at the top. So we're using variables, but we need to work out how to store them. Now, I've come up with a way to store them uh, inside, um, inside sessions, uh, probably the best way. So what we're going to do is, in, in our table, we have ID numbers. So we've got the, let's browse again, we have got the book with ID as 1 and the T with ID as 2. So if we store our sessions like this, cart 1, and that has a value, and cart 2, and that has a value, now cart 1 represents ID 1, so that's book. And bear in mind these are only created once they're being added, so they're not they don't all exist at once. Cart two represents T. If these both start out default as naught, they don't start out as naught, they start out as null or just nothing. Then if we plus one to them, we're gonna add them to our cart. So we're gonna have one instance of them. Uh let's say I added um ID with one, so I added a book to my cart. This changes to one. If I added then some T to my cart, that changes this session variable to one. And then if I wanted, say, a couple more of the books, this will change to three. Um, so these are the session variables. So this would look like that and the same for cart 2 as well so that's basically how our session variables are going to be look, going to look and we're going to be adding sort of oh sorry I didn't want to save that we're going to sort of be adding one on each time so um, inside our cart.php we want to handle what we did in the last stage which was when we click on add it takes add equals and the ID names. This is T, which is ID of two in the database. So then we can create our cart underscore two or our cart underscore one, depending on which product has been clicked. So we want to do this sort of up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if is set dollar underscore get add. So if we have clicked on add, then I'm just going to say blah. Okay. So let's click on add here. Blah. Okay, um, if we visit cart.php without clicking on anything, nothing's displayed. So we know that this line of code here now works. But obviously, we don't want to echo blah to the user, that would be rude. What we want to do is we want to um, add um, a quantity of this item to uh, our sessions. So, what we're going to do is very, very simply say dollar underscore session. And then inside here, cart underscore, and then we're going to concatenate onto the end of it, get add. And this is the ID number that we've passed through our get variable. So now this would equal, say we clicked on book, which is ID of one, cart underscore one. Now the reason we don't just set it as one is that session variables don't allow you to have just a number in them. It has to have something on the on the beginning and then we have to, when we can concatenate a number wherever we want to and then more text if we want to but in this instance I'm going to say car underscore and then this is going to be the ID so um, the next stage is to say plus equals one oh and basically what we're doing is we're just adding one onto it so we're it's the same as saying session cart equals session cart underscore whatever plus one so now what we can do is down here we can say dollar underscore echo dollar underscore session cart underscore one and that's just oh and that's just going to uh, echo out what we've done so we're going to click on the idea of one and then see what happens so book add now that's saying one 
Okay, so let's go back. Uh, it's still up here because we've included that file uh, and we've included cart.php. Click on book, it goes to two. So we've got session data now being stored for this specific item. If we click on T, we're still increasing it, but we're not echoing it out down here. Um, but th that was basically just for testing purposes. So now we're actually adding uh, the quantity in. Now what we want to make sure we do in this add function is not allow the customer to add any more items than we've got in stock. So obviously, um, let's just refresh that to get rid of the uh, testing variable. Okay, so we've got quantity of 10 for the book and three for the T. So we don't want to let the uh, customer add any more than 10 and three, um, and so on and so on and so forth for any other products you add. So we need um, some kind of um, check in here that's gonna let us do that. And so I'm gonna start up uh, a query, and that's going to be select ID and quantity from products where ID equals Uh, and then we basically want to concatenate on the end uh, get oh add so where the ID equals the ID of um, what we've clicked on um, but to add a sort of a bit of security to this I'm going to say mysql real escape string and then for further security to ensure that this value is an integer at all times, in brackets just before it, we can add int. Um, that just makes sure that an int is passed because this is only gonna be an integer variable, uh, value, sorry. So um, underneath this, we want to say while quantity row, so we're doing exactly the same thing as before um, with fetching this associated ray from the query and that's quantity. We'll come down here and inside here we want to say if quantity row and then quantity. So we're grabbing the quantity of the specific item. Remember we did it by ID inside the query. Um, we want to say if the quantity um, inside the database doesn't equal dollar underscore session and cart underscore dollar underscore get add so basically what we're saying is if the if the quantity listed in the database doesn't equal the quantity already in the uh, shopping basket because remember this session is basically our shopping basket then we want to do something here and that is obviously that okay so let's run through this again we're creating a query to grab the quantity from the database um, from this that's been posted so from the specific ID so if we click on book this is going to equal one so we're going to say select ID quantity from products where ID equals one then we're gonna loop through um, to loop through to grab the quantity variable and we're going to say if quantity row, um, which is this here, the array we've created, and then we're going to grab the quantity. Remember that is this here. If that doesn't equal what's already in the cart, so let's just say the quantity is 10 and cart underscore one already equals 10. Do you remember I showed you earlier how we increment each uh, yeah, the variable that's already inside? Then we can add add one on. So it's pretty straightforward if you think about it. If we come down, I'm gonna echo session uh, cart underscore one. So if we look in the database, cart underscore one, that'd be the ID of one, quantity 10. So let's just go, oh no, let's go back to our page here and we can refresh. Now we saw this before, we've got three in already. So book, I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna add, add, uh, add another one, sorry. So this keeps incrementing. Now you'll find that as we reach near to 10, can add nine, add 10, 
try and add another one and it won't let us. The reason being is we've added the quantity that's listed already in the database here, which is what our check was for. So we've basically achieved that. That's, that's it for that one. So we can get rid of that now for testing purposes. And that's basically our add um, if statement done for when we want to add products. Okay, so in the next part of the tutorial, we're going to learn how to create our cart. So we're going to show the user what items are already in their cart. Then we're going to let them add um, add it add more items, remove items uh, individually, and delete the complete um, item itself.